Uh, good afternoon, my name is Sia Bak, and I'm a PhD candidate at, at uh, Yonsei University College of Medicine. And I feel so honored to be here, and I, uh, I really appreciate, appreciate for the great award, and it's such a great opportunity to share my research about my recent paper. So my research is about the recording of elapsed time uh, and temporal information about biological events using Cas9. So in our lab, we are working on CRISPR-Cas system, and especially for me, I'm uh, uh, researching uh, application of CRISPR-Cas system. So CRISPR-Cas system is uh, now well known, and this is a useful DNA writing technology. So for this to work, we have uh, we need two components that are guide RNA and Cas9 protein that is nuclease. So together, uh, they can target our target sequences and then induce the double strand break. Then finally, we can make the insertion or in, uh, insertion or deletion in theirs in our target sequences. So using this CRISPR-Cas system, there has been uh, one interesting paper published in 2017. So this group succeeded in uh, storing this image or this video clip uh, using the DNA sequences of living bacteria. So based on this paper, we uh, realized that we can actually store various information using DNA sequences of living cells. So we are especially interested in um, recording temporal information because it was quite challenging to accurately record some time information using DNA sequences. So our work was summarized and then reported in the Cell Journal this year. So uh, for this work, we utilized uh, three strategies. So first is the constant expression level of Cas9 and guide RNA. So we did this because we want to keep the uh, in their generation rate constant at all time. And then second, we adopted the CRISPR library concept to our system. So we used thousands of different guide RNAs and target sequences for our uh, system to increase the accuracy of our recording system. And third, based on our high throughput in the frequency data, we derived in their modeling. So we want to express the in the frequency data in a function of time, so we can mathematically calculate the predicted time value. So finally, using those strategies, we wanted to build a um, temporal recording system with higher accuracy, better resolution in a broader time range. So we've implemented these strategies experimentally. So first, we, conduct, uh, we established the Cas9 knock-in cells. Then we deliver our guide RNA lentivirally for long-term and constant expression level. And when we deliver our guide RNA, we used lentiviral library that contains 24,000 of different guide RNA sequences. So we induce our, we uh, uh, infected our Cas9 knock-in cells with this lentiviral library and finally generated the uh, library cells we called uh, DNA clock library cells. So we harvested this cell at each time point while we are maintaining enough number of cells. And then we analyzed the uh, index frequency uh, based on the target, sequen uh, target sequences using deep sequencing. And this is the index frequency result uh, in, in target sequences, three representative target sequences. And x axis is time, and y axis is the inter target sequence frequency. So you can see at time of zero, 100% of target sequences are intact. And as time goes by, it decreases like this. And these red dotted lines represent the exponential decay model that was uh, statistically an, um, analyzed. And then we found out this one was best fitting one to our in the frequency data. So with the, uh, with the in the frequency uh, model and then uh, in the frequency data, we could actually conduct the uh, temporal analysis. And then we've conducted six replicate experiments and X axis is the true time and Y axis is the uh, uh, calculated time. And we can see those two figures were highly, um, highly correlated. And then when we calculated the error in time prediction, we uh, found out uh, no matter which replicator we picked up, uh, the error was around 10%, which is really uh, accurate. So collectively, this research implies that 
our system is highly reproducible and highly accurate. So our work uh, has some uh, improvements compared to other similar papers. And then, for example, the, for the recording periods, it was significantly expanded from a few days to 60 days in our case, which is two months. And then we succeeded in recording specific biological events such as heat exposure or inflammation response in vivo or in vitro. And finally, most importantly, we succeeded in temporal data digitization for the first time. And then this was done by the indel modeling and uh, indel frequency data. And we can, uh, pick, uh, with these two uh, elements, we can actually um, calculate the predicted time value mathematically. So uh, it, would be, it would be impossible without the help of many other collaborators or my, my advisors, who is um, uh, Professor Hyungbang Kim. And then uh, finally, this work was funded by the Samsung Electronics. And thank you for your attention. Uh, we have two more minutes. Uh, so if you have any questions from the audience, you can ask any questions to her. Uh, I think uh, maybe most people or not many people um, might inter uh, know about CRISPR-Cas9 system. And you show that uh, your system improved uh, the recording period compared to other systems. And yes. then uh, can you explain what makes those differences compared uh, to other systems? Actually, we use the index exponential decay model for our index frequency data. And we can accurately um, calculated time uh, with this model, and then also we kept uh, the Cas9 expression level and guideline expression level constant, so we can uh, actually expand it the recording time because we uh, experimentally set our uh, condition for um, proper long-term expression. So I think that is the reason we can expand it the recording periods. Okay, so uh, other paper, they didn't use the constant expression of CRISPR system? You no, mean? they didn't okay. use that. Yeah. 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 Uh, any other questions? Uh, if you don't have any uh, more questions, then uh, you, you can move. And